the most fun I had all day. More worthless scraps. <laughs> I work. Oh, silly weight. The weight is on. I don't like that really. It draws attention. Yeah, I'm still speaking. Still uh, speaking of scrapping, still picking it up, right? Despite the mind bending experience. Does it look better or does it look worse? Does it look the same? I don't know. Oh, I had a rough day at the office today. Let me tell you. I drive my own self crazy. I don't know, man. I put them on that white truck. Those are 15s. Do you ever feel like you get tossed around so much <clears throat> that you're not sure what to do next? By your own self. I get like focusing. Just try to stay focused. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the yards are going to be closed <clears throat> tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. There's some wire in here. This is a mixed bag of everything, I think. We got a lot of that around here, right? <clears throat> yeah, the one junkyard I go to, they're they're scrutinizing everything now. So, my experience with scrapyards when they start getting picky like that, that just means that things are gonna get tough. If they're not tough already, they're gonna get even tougher. I think that's mostly brass. I don't know. I 
that's like number two, three copper, sort of, kind of. I gotta fix this. I heard the door close in the car. That's what it sounded like anyway. <clears throat> Bit more brass. I don't know how I many pounds. Several. Pool heater. Aluminum table thing. Stuff that my wife wants to, I don't know, keep for our backyard. <clears throat> Truck that I work on every now and then, sometimes. <clears throat> I don't know with me when I uh sing it thing is I don't know with me that's a bad camera angle that's bad right there with, with me I'm looking around I don't know why because I'm talking to a ladder With me, uh, when I get knocked for a loop, sort of, so to speak, my head is in a spin and it takes a while for me to like get my bearings and figure out figure out my next move because it's not easy. I do have the resources and I have the ability, I mean, I have my health, right? So I can thank God for that. So I got, when I made that video, I got people that, I got people that believe in God, I do, and I got people that don't believe in God. And I got some people, I guess, that were offended by the video. So much so that they said they're going to unsubscribe. I mean, you know, you're free to do that. See, those are the chances you're taking when you make these kind of videos. Is that you're going to you're going to offend some people? And, uh, the channel is not about. what you, I don't know, what some people think it is. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of my subscribers and long-time viewers know what it's about. Besides being a shit show, it's about the struggle. Alright? Because, uh, like I was on the phone with my mother today. You know, she's saying, oh, well, life is short, you know, because my uncle died today. He had like stage four lung cancer and he was still smoking. And, uh, he had a heart attack and he had pneumonia, you know. And he had the he had the COVID. Okay. What did he die from? COVID nineteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's what finally did him in. Sure. Well, he 
yeah, we were talking about, you know, what my deal is. And she's like, um, oh, we, we used to take you to the doctors of optometry. Because they thought I had, like, a, you know, eye coordination thing going on. But, you know, they, they noticed that my fine motor skills are great. But my gross motor skills, like for sports, throw a ball, I, I was in Little League Baseball for two years, and I tried. God, I sucks. I was just, yeah. Me in sports? Nope. Not because I don't like sports. It's just that I am not coordinated like that, you know. So that's how God made me, right? I have what's called Asperger's, which is a form of autism. And it makes the struggle that much harder. Because because I, I don't get it, okay? You know what I mean? When it comes to... When it comes to me and situations and me and people, I don't get it, you know what I mean? I don't realize when I'm overdoing it, I, I don't realize it. Or like, things that are a little bit inappropriate, I don't get it. And that, that right there, that's why, you know, I would love to have like a, like a real job where I am not work. To see, like, doing this, I am work, okay? Wherever I'm at, that's where work is at, okay? You can't really take a vacation, or at least that's the way I see it, when you are work. If I had a job, like a real job, you know, you punch the clock, you're there for eight hours or ten hours or whatever. You punch out and you go home. The job is there and you are there. Okay? But that's not me. That's not the life sentence I was handed. I was handed figure it out. Do something for yourself. You know what I mean? So... That kind of thing for a YouTube channel is a little bit too heavy for a lot of people to take down. And they really shy away from it and don't care to watch it. Because it's cringeworthy. Right guys? My channel makes people cringe. Or it just turns them off. Because it's so negative! <clears throat> no, it's about the struggle. And the struggle is tough. And it might be interpreted as being negative, like an understand. Kind of. <clears throat> you spent more time yapping. Yeah, I know, right? Because I don't feel like doing anything right now. <sighs> a lot of times I don't feel like doing anything. I know, you got to push yourself. Man, how many people could go and push themselves and actually work for themselves? Not too many people. Takes a special kind of nut. <laughs> Most people need take me to your leader. Most people need a leader, a boss, somebody to <clears throat> like the cartoon. You know, like, you know, like cartoons. Like the boss is always like a short, fat, bald guy. They they need a short, fat, bald guy to tell them what to do. Well. Me and the short, fat, bald guy never got along very well. Always ended up in conflict. Remember that? Like when they used to really push that? I don't hear that term anymore. Conflict resolution. That, that came, that really came about just after I was done with school. Conflict resolution. What the heck? What the heck is conflict resolution? Oh, 
all these soft furry animal type of references to problem solving I guess I don't know who knows I don't know what the heck I'm talking about sometimes conflict resolution <sighs> yeah so I'm I'm in a head spin guys The king has been thrown for a loop there. People are... Oh, there's a couple of rotors. The yard is closed for a day and you're all discombobulated. Yeah, I'm discombobulated. <clears throat> go look up... Go look up uh, aspergers. People with a very mild form of autism and see how... Like if you do something that throws them for a loop. I don't know. We, we, we're all discombobulated then after that. Because special kind of a weird mind. We like things the same. Okay, we. I'm speaking for people with the my old form of autism. Yes, we we like <clears throat> we will eat the same food day in and day out, day in and day out until we finally decide, eh, I'm tired of this, I think I'll try something else and eat that day in and day out and day in and day out. That's what I struggle with every day. I struggle with... I struggle with me. <laughs> this tire that I got from that tire shop is... I'm gonna go back there and raise holy hell. Because it, uh... It leaks air. $40 it shouldn't. All right, kids, see you in another video. Hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, and watch more videos. <laughs> Bye.